Well, I gotta say, this is probably the most unique wildlife experience I have ever had in all my life, and maybe one of the most unusual for the rest of my life. We've just been walking out after calling moose all morning, and we walk up, and on the ground is this mature bald eagle. Just an absolutely gorgeous specimen, but clearly in distress. A mature bald eagle should never, never be on the ground like this letting us get so close. We tried to walk up to it thinking maybe it had its foot caught in some wire or something like that, and it just kind of, it, it very in a very distressed manner, tried to get away from us, but couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. It only went 12 feet. And then now it's just sitting there with us hovering all around it wings spread trying to intimidate us but it's clearly in some bad 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 shape so we're trying to justin's over there trying to call the ministry right now to try to get authorization to dispatch it and put it out of its misery you never like to see a majestic animal like go like that but uh but this thing needs to be put out of its misery what an experience what an animal the bald eagle can be found from the mexican border through the united states and into canada this large raptor is a skilled hunter with its incredibly sharp talons, seven foot wingspan, and pin sharp eyesight. In fact, they have a second set of see-through eyelids which protects their eyes while their main eyelids are open and they also help moisten and clean their eyes as well. Though their appearances look similar between male and female eagles, females are typically 25% larger than males and pairs usually mate for life and eagles can live long lives, even up to 38 years in the wild. Well, Justin's been trying every single number he could find, trying to get someone on the phone, but being a Saturday, no one seems to be picking up. And so we can't get any authorization to do anything with this. And we're afraid of spending the rest of our lives in jail for tampering with them. I know we could catch them. We could catch that bird easily. We could, but the problem is we got a three, four kilometer hike back out. The stress we'd put that bird under to get him caught and back to somebody, he might be dead by the time we get back to the truck. So the unfortunate part is, I think we're just gonna have to walk away. And this is where sometimes the laws are not fair to us or to the animals, but I'm not willing to risk my family and my livelihood for it either. So we're gonna have to just leave this bird alone. Maybe we'll get somebody through the rest of the day as the day goes on and we can bring them back in because clearly he's not going anywhere. So maybe we'll get lucky, but uh, unfortunately we have to make the tough choice right now and that is, we gotta walk away. If you enjoyed this video, Click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.